Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 3, Database Management System, Part 7. Content of the session is Designing the Databases. Let's start the session. Designing the Databases. The process of creating, implementing and maintaining the enterprise data in a system is known as designing of databases. I hope you will remember database is a collection of tables. Better understanding of the application is necessary before designing the database. The performance and success of an application depends on the good database design. MySQL provides performance, dashboard, reports and statistics regarding the design of database. The content what you are going to learn is you are going to design the database. We are not going to do in a big task just you are going to learn what is a database, what is a table, what are the attributes in a table, how to do in MySQL using SQL statements. It is the primary phase in database design where detailed discussion about the creation of databases, tables, columns and data types is discussed based on the requirement of the application. As an end result, the model is framed to attain the expectation of the application's end user. That means, if you are going to create a database for a bank, then you should know what are the tables required for the, ta for the bank. For example, if there is a customer, then I must know the customer name, customer age, address, nowadays other number, PAN number, everything. So, the design for the bank is based in a conceptual design. That means theoretically we will frame a design. What are the tables we require? What are the tables to be grouped in one sector? How many databases are required? Whether we need only one database or master database, uh, saving database, we can have any name based upon the requirement of the bank. In this lesson, in your chapter, it is not given in an elaborate manner to create a PAKKA a backend for a bank or a college. But here they are given the basic content how to create a database or a table. So you are going to learn the basic things in this lesson. <coughs> Structured Query Language Structured Query Language is a standard language used for accessing and manipulating databases. So in this uh, chapter, SQL Structured Query Language, you are going to learn the commands which should be used to create the database table, how to create the column, how to delete a column, how to change a column, how to uh, delete a table, how to delete a database, how to change it, everything, what are the things we require in our uh, database design. The five important categories of the SQL commands are DDL, DML, DQL, TCL, DCL data definition language, data manipulation language, data query language, transaction control language, data control language. So we will see one by one. So first one is data definition language. Simply it is DDL. It is an important question for our exam point of view also. DDL commands are used to define database schema. That means the structure of the database. Also to create and modify the structure of the database object in the. Here they are given the commands. Create, alter, drop, rename, truncate. 
used to create a database or a table, modifies the existing structure of the database, deletes the database or a table, used to rename an existing object, used to delete all table records. Let's see with the example. I hope you have installed the exam software in your computer. Then you click this exam control panel. So if you open the exam control panel, you will receive this dialog box. In this dialog box, you start the Apache and MySQL. It should be in green color. So when you start, it will show, it indicates that there is no error. It is supporting in your system. Then, you have to open a browser. Here, you type http colon double slash localhost slash dashboard and enter. You will receive this. For this, you don't need an internet connection. You may ask, we are using a browser and we are typing here. Why we, we, why we didn't require an internet? I hope you have worked in your 11th standard, the HTML program. Do you remember that? In your HTML, for executing your HTML program, do you require internet connection? No, am I right? So, for working with PHP and for the SQL, MySQL, we don't need the internet. But at the end, it is deployed in the internet. It is not in your syllabus. But the reality is, it is tested and it is checked for all the parameters or the priorities which are required in a database using this tool. If we feel everything is pakka, after that it is deployed in the internet. You will learn this in your higher studies. Now we will learn what is in your syllabus. So to learn in your syllabus content, we have to install the exam. After that we have to start and we can use the browser to work it. So here you have to select the PHP my admin option. So, when you click this, you will get a dialog box like this. There are many things. Actually, it is a web server. That means the XAMP is a web server. The usage of the web server is more. I'll explain in next video. Here, you will learn how to do your SQL command. For this, I have to use this SQL tab. So this is the place where we are going to type and execute the SQL command queries. So first command is how to create a database. Before that, we'll see what are the database present here. For that, we have used show databases. So it is showing the database which are present here. Information schema, MySQL, performance schema, PHP, MyAdmin, sample DB test. So these are the databases present right now in the system. So how to create a database? The command is create database followed by database name. new db it is the database name given here so after that you have to press the go button so it is created successfully create databases success that means there is a tick mark to find out that again we are asking to show databases click go now you are able to see the new db database in the list. Is it clear children?
then how to create a table before that i have to open the database it's a room so there are there will be many databases so ha i have to insist where the table should be created or under which database the table is going to be created so use new db means open that database then you create a table it is the procedure here first we have to create the database under the database only we can create a table it is mandatory we cannot create a table directly without a database so use new db means i am opening the database under that database i am creating a table create table table name is given as student open a bracket give the column names that is attributes so here the attribute is student number int of 2 it is the data type that means this student number is going to hold the value of integer and with the um, digit number is 2 that means it must be a two digit number i cannot have a three digit number is it clear so uh, this is set to be database and this is set to be column name or attribute name another attribute name is student name where care this is another data type to hold <coughs> character values where care of 10 that means i can have a student name with the counting of 10 characters and with semicolon you notice this semicolon is important here there are two statements one is use database that means we are going to open this database under this database a table is going to be created if i am using two statements then each statement should be ended with semicolon or termination symbol if i am using only one line means i can skip this semicolon it won't say any error but if i am using more than one statement in a single place i have to use this semicolon press the go button so table is created now we will check the structure of the table that means we are going to check whether the table is here or not open the database to check the table describe des command and the table name it will show the structure of the table can you see the structure of the table student and the structure means what are the attributes present inside the table s number the type is data type is int of 2 s name where care of 10 null yes yes means i can leave this without giving a data that is null value is allowed there are many things to go in deep but i'll explain little by little again i'm opening the database now we are going to use the command alter alter command is used to do many things what are the things means i can change a um, attribute data type that means i can modify a attribute or the column i can add a new column i can rename a database so these things are possible with alter command so alter table table name there is a syntax error that is alter table table name i am going to modify what is the modification is student number actually it is int of 2 it is going to be changed to int of 4 2 digit number is changed into 4 digit number in the structure now we are going to check the structure database describe student that means show the structure of the student table 
Now you can see it is int of 4. So it is changed. Structure is changed. Now we will see the next one. Alter table, table name student. The student name is going to be renamed to another name that is student detail. We are changing the name of the table. So I have to use the database. So use new DB database. Under that database there is a table with the name student. That table is going to be changed to student detail. Is it clear? It's successful. Now, we'll check with the structure. Use database. Show the structure of the student detail. Actually, it was student. Now, it is changed to student detail. So, we are asking to show the structure. It's showing the structure as S number and S name. Now, we will ask to show the structure of student, the old name. It will show the error because the table with the name student does not exist. So, it will show the error. Is it clear children? So, create alter and under all alter we uh, we have seen the modify and the rename command. Now, now we will see how to delete a table that means drop table table name. If I don't want the table means I can drop it. After dropping the table, if we ask to show the structure means, it will say the table does not exist. Is it clear? No. We are going to see how to delete a database. First, we deleted the table. Now, we are going to delete the database. First, we will show us to show the database. In the database list, you can see the new DB. Now, we are going to drop this database. So, drop database, database name. Now, you see the list it won't show the database new db because it is deleted can you see that there is no name with new db so we have learnt create alter drop rename modify so the important thing is you have to stop the web server exam this is important so that's all for this session in the next session we'll continue with the next sql commands thank you for watching this video if you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.